Hello, welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing a handbag review on the Chanel 19 bag in the multicolor tweed fabric. If you're new to my channel, my name is Jill. I do a lot of shopping vlogs and many of them are Paris vlogs because I am based in Paris. I love luxury brands, but I also cover some Main Street brands and particularly those French brands that may not be very widely known to the international community. You will also find some product reviews and handbag reviews on my personal collection as well as on brands that I love. So if you're interested in contents like these, I would very much love you to subscribe to my YouTube channel right now and be part of the community. Alright, so let's get started on the handbag review, shall we? So this baby here is my very first Chanel purchase in my entire life. So this is what really started my Chanel journey, if you would call it that. Um, so why did I pick this particular style and kind of pattern for my first Chanel handbag purchase? Um, that's a good question. It was somewhat of a, an impulse purchase that I made. Um, I didn't really kind of think it through. I know a lot of people uh, probably wouldn't recommend a Chanel 19 or a tweed bag as their first Chanel handbag purchase, but I kind of just went for it because I was completely swept away by this style and this um, tweed pattern. Um, so I first got noticed this bag um, when it came out in the 2019 collection. It's also Karl Lagerfeld's um, last collection. Uh, when I saw this shape, I was completely blown away. Um, I just really like how um, the style is so relaxed. Um, it has an understated chic kind of vibe to it. I really like the big quilting, which is different from um, the classic flaps and I really like the pull away kind of effect and it's just really really casual and relaxed and it's still very luxurious so that's why I like the style and as for the pattern I have always been a big fan of Chanel tweed um, for as long as I remember I just admire um, the history of Chanel and how tweed played a major role in the brand. Um, I like looking at old photographs of Coco Chanel wearing her tweed suits. Um, it's just such a big part of the brand that I always kind of dreamt of owning something in Chanel tweed. And this pattern, when I saw it, Something about it just spoke to me. I think it's the color combination. I've got this navy blue here that's really vibrant um, against these stitching in white and red. And the details, um, if you can see these little um, kind of little dots that pop out, they are kind of, they're not, um, they're not kind of defects they're not a problem like they it's supposed to be like that it's like these little um kind of popped up um shapes that's part of the the tweed fabric that's really unique and these lines are not solid lines right like they are um kind of uh there and not there um dotted lines it's really cute um, so that really spoke to me and at first I was worried that this pattern wouldn't be easy to kind of go with outfits but surprisingly it's been easier than I thought to match this with outfits so I was able to find kind of multiple cutter schemes and multiple outfit styles that go really well with this bag so I was happy with how it turned out um, as to um, the 
functionality. So let's take a quick tour of this bag. Um, so on the front, we've got this turn lock, right? Everybody's familiar with it. And at the back, we've got this magnetic closure that opens up to a big kind of um, separate compartment where you can slide your phone inside. That's what I usually do with this compartment. You don't have to use it, of course, because there is plenty of room inside in the main compartment. Um, right here, it's pretty roomy. And because of how much room there is in this bag, it's actually one of my most practical bags. Um, I love kind of traveling with this bag, um, bringing it to the airport, and also wearing it when I travel because there's just so much I can put in it and and I don't know about you but when I go to airports I have so much stuff with me for some reason like passports boarding passes um phones um like sometimes two phones because one is work one is personal um you have your my full wallet like if I'm just going out in Paris I don't usually bring my full wallet I don't even bring most of my cards like not even my card holder because everything is on Apple Pay but if I'm going to the airport I really need everything with me so I usually have um more things to carry than I would otherwise um be carrying and I have like my hair products, um, hair ties that I um, sometimes want to tie my hair on the plane, etc. So um, I really like this big roomy interior. And there is also um, something inside as well. As you can see, I have a pen in here. Um, and oh, I, I have a Chanel receipt. I don't think it's for this bag, but um, as you can see, you can hide stuff in there which I really appreciate. And I do wear it um, with my um, organizer sometimes. Like I, I think it does help with giving the bag a little bit of structure. Um, so you can see if I pop it inside, it fits completely. So this one, I got it off of Etsy um, from a brand called Joy jewelry pin bag um i think it's pretty similar to the samorga uh, version uh, the two millimeter version it's probably not very different i just ordered it from Etsy because i could get it um sooner but i think samorga would work just as fine um and i sometimes if i don't want to have the organizer because it does take a little bit of um room I sometimes do wear it with my base shaper. This is from M Boutique. Um, and so this helps the base kind of um, stay flat. And I kind of like it that way. I don't like it when it's like, you know, like this. Um, I like the base to be flat. Even though I, I understand that this bag is supposed to be a relaxed bag. And I, I like that aspect of it. But for the base, I usually do like keeping it flat so this one works really well for keeping the base flat um, and you can also pop it in with the organizer as well um, so in terms of ways to wear it um, I personally think there are four ways to wear this bag um, so there is the crossbody um, with this chain uh, it works very well for my height i'm 169 centimeters or five foot six and a half and it falls just around my hips and it allows for um the winter coats as well so i think the chain length is definitely long enough and but not too long uh, for my height um i mean you cannot adjust the length of this chain right so definitely um, try out the chain length um, to see if it fits on your height. And you can also wear it with the chain um, as the shoulder bag. Um, it works just as well. Uh, I usually uh, only wear smaller bags as the shoulder bag. Um, I think this one is a little too big. Um, 
for me to light wearing it as a shoulder bag but you can definitely do that and as you can see it works pretty well as well um, and the third way to wear it is with this um, top handle chain you can wear it on the crook of your arm it's very comfortable um, the chain job is long enough and the fourth way um, I don't know if not a lot of people wear it like that, but I like to put it under my arm um, as like a big clutch. So I'm always just holding it kind of under my arm and like kind of like a precious uh, baby. And um, it just gives it a different vibe to the entire kind of um, outlook of you the outfit and wearing the bag especially kind of in the winter or with the big winter cold i don't know it just gives off a je ne sais quoi kind of feeling i really like wearing it like that uh, although it's not the most hands-free option but i really enjoy wearing the bag like that and i enjoy touching the bag at all times i i, I enjoy having the bag under my arm it just feels like I have something really precious and I'm protecting it. Um, I don't know, it just looks very chic um, to me. I don't know if you guys agree, uh, but that's my um, favorite way to wear this bag. So in terms of wear and tear, um, I know a lot of people are pretty um, apprehensive when it comes to getting a tweed bag um, because they are afraid of the the pilling that comes with um, a fabric bag. And I have seen pictures of other um, tweed bags uh, like kind of getting worn out and started to pull um, after um, some wear, um, but it hasn't happened to me. And I personally think that um, different tweed fabric kind of reacts differently to friction. So for example, this one, if you can see in detail, um, it's a very hard wearing fabric. It's not very wooly, like you don't see the little wool kind of um, tiny threads coming out. Like these are very hard wearing material. Um, I wish you could feel it. Um, you really have to feel it. Like if you feel it, you would know what I mean. Like I, I've had zero pilling at all. Um, and this bag, uh, I bought this bag pre-loved, right? So this bag has been around since 2019 and there's zero pilling at all, okay? I, and I don't, I, I haven't really been um, babying this bag. I mean, I'm, it's not like I throw it around, but um, I have been just recently careful, but not too careful with it. And there is absolutely no pulling and no color issues at all. It's basically just in pristine condition. Like this fabric is just really great. Um, and another pro of this fabric is that I'm not worried about having it in the rain. Like if it's a sort of rainy day, like um, there are drizzles outside, I, I'm not sure if it's gonna um, come down later in the day. I might just wear this bag um, and I would not wear um, any of my lambskin bags because um, with lambskin, I would be worried about having it in the rain, what it might do to it, maybe nothing, but you don't know, you don't wanna risk it. Um, and I'd be inclined to cover my lambskin bags in something if it starts pouring. But this one, no problem at all. Like if it's in the rain, okay, so be it. Um, it'll just dry out, uh, no issues at all. So I'm not super worried about the weather. So that's what I really like about the tweed that not many people have mentioned. Um, and some people do talk about um, the chain being not uh, the most comfortable chain 
because of how heavy it is and also some people have mentioned this leather part um, dipping into your shoulders I haven't personally um, experienced that maybe it's because I bought this bag pre-loved and this leather part has already been um, softened out a little bit so I haven't experienced the dipping that other people have talked about um, this strap has there was no problems with the strap at all um, it is true that it does get kind of sort of twisted sometimes but it doesn't really bother me um, it's not an issue um, it just um, I think it's a very luxurious looking chain and if it twists around sometimes that's just the nature of it I think it just makes it even more um, luxurious because it's not a very cheap looking chain it's not light it's very substantial so i do like it but it does add to the weight of the bag um, so that's one thing to keep in mind okay so in terms of measurements i want to give you um, the full measurements of this bag so here across the base is about 10 inches i would say um um for the height i think this is roughly um you can see around six to this point and if you want to measure it up to um, the flap it's probably six and a half um and for the base it is three i would say three inches and for the chain drop for the top handle um this is roughly um four inches and for the the long the long chain drop um you can't really see it on the screen but if you trust me it is just a little bit over 19 inches so this is where it fell right here okay so in terms of pricing um, this bag is currently retailing for 5450 euros in Paris um, in the US it's probably not not a lot above that level because Chanel has uh, harmonized their prices globally last year um, so now the US prices are not very far um, from the European prices um, so depending on the exchange rate it's probably about the same you do get the VAT refund in Europe um, so that probably makes a difference and in the US you will have to add tax to it so um, uh, it's unclear whether it's cheaper here or in the US um, and a few years ago this was definitely below 5,000 euros it was in the kind of uh, low to mid 4,000 range and that's where I got this bag at um, I got this pre-loved at around the retail price at the time and I got it pre-loved because I couldn't find it anywhere in the stores um, it, because it, this is a seasonal pattern so if you don't grab it when it first comes out then chances are they'd be sold out everywhere um, so because this was the specific pattern that I really liked I um, just had to go the pre-loved route but I am glad that it worked out for me and it has stayed in pristine um, condition all right so i hope you guys enjoyed my review of the chanel 19 bag let me know down below if you have any questions at all and if you are not subscribed to my channel please do so it would mean a world to me and i would really really appreciate it um, so please subscribe to my YouTube channel and like my video. Um, and I'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye.